What up guys and welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Kev. I am so hyped about today's episode because we have Dallas Cowboy royalty in the building today. I am talking about the director of the Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders, Kelly Finglass. Kelly hails from Lindale, Texas, which is way far out there in East Texas for y'all that don't know. We don't know it either, that's how far out it is. So Kelly began her time with the Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders some time ago, so she is very seasoned. And she is the only cheerleader actually in DCC history to not have to try out. She did four seasons and then her fifth season, because she's so hyped, they're like, you know what? D don't even try out, you already made the team. Okay, so the thing about Kelly is that she is high energy, she's great in business, but when it comes to cooking, oof. She showed me this egg video, y'all, when she's trying to make some eggs, and I don't know how, but I've never seen so many eggs outside of the pan and in someone's kitchen rather than on their plate. So we've got something in store for her today. There's not gonna be a challenge because I don't think we have the insurance to cover what she could possibly do if we blindfolded her, but we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna make an amazing Tex-Mex inspired brunch casserole with eggs. This time, I'm gonna be involved, so I'm hoping that we don't have any more catastrophes. All right, this is Cooking with Kev. Let's get to it. Welcome to the Fit Man Cook Kitchen for the very first time, Kelly Finglass! Hey! What's hey. going on, Kelly? Um, I'm excited to be I here, so and I'm scared to be here. This is not my world. It's not, but we're gonna have a lot of fun today. I um, I love your energy. Oh, you know, thank you, you, you too. Bring such high energy all the time. Now, just walk us through this egg fiasco. Oh gosh, my, ex <laughs> my egg explosion. My life is a little over <clears throat> scheduled, so I'm big on multitasking, but I try really hard in the mornings to have my quiet time. I go outside okay. and I have a water fountain and I, I have my feng shui spot and yeah. I do my little devotional. I also have a shih tzu. I have a dog too, her yeah. name's Sugar, and she gets groomed once a month. Yeah. <laughs> because I multitask when I cook. So you long story short is I'm on. outside. Um, I'm enjoying a peaceful moment with my water fountain and a devotional. Sugar's yeah. in the van getting a bath. I've completely <laughs> forgotten about the eggs that I'm boiling. Amanda, my groomer, comes in the house and she is screaming. <laughs> I'm outside having my moment. She goes, Kelly, there's something on fire. And so I came in the kitchen and the eggs were everywhere. Oh Have you ever God. seen eggs explode? Uh, no, okay. never. Uh, they are capable <laughs> of of uh, height yeah. and scent. I mean, they were everywhere. They were on my ceiling. They were all over my stove. I don't the, think most people know that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the hard boiled eggs were, were a grab and go. Yeah. Now, I didn't expect the explosion, but that was the intent. I don't think anyone expects that, but <laughs> absolutely. It's actually a good segue because that's what we're gonna make today is really? a grab and go for breakfast using eggs. But this time, usually we try to incorporate some type of challenge, but after I saw that video with the eggs everywhere and then the <laughs> shrimp one too, I'm just like, I don't know if we have insurance to cover anything. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> so we're gonna make something else, but we're not gonna blindfold you or tie your hands behind your back. It's yeah, because be I need, up I need everything. We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna focus today. <laughs> Bring all that DCC energy right in here to the skillet. So first off, we'll start off with a smoothie Okay. that relates to what we're doing today. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. what, what is in this smoothie? I want you to taste it and tell me. And the hint is right here as well. Okay, so pineapple. Mm-hmm. What else do you taste? The ingredient besides the pineapple. Mm-hmm. Juice. Hmm. There's a little bit of OJ in here instead of water. I might need a palate cleanser to figure this out. I'm detect is there a protein powder in here? Mm -mm. Is it a vegetable or fruit? It's kiwi? A Actually, what would this be considered? I guess it's a plant. Aloe vera? Close. It's not aloe vera. A tequila plant. Did you put oh, agave I, oh, in there? Oh, I wish we had some of that. Mmm. Cactus? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What is that? Yes, it's cactus. I just love your reaction. Cactus? It looks like a little hat for the cactus. <laughs> <laughs> Those are real cactus. Ah. These are nopal cactus leaves. And uh, what, Tex Mexico. Nopal? Mexico. Nopal, N N O P A L. Nopales is what is really popular in Mexico, and you can claro. chop these up. Oh, claro que sí, oh, all right. Entiendo poquito español. Okay, ah, Kelly, hit him with the go. <laughs> go ahead, Kelly. That's what I'm talking about. See, y'all didn't know that. This is why it's Agua royalty right Agua con gas. Um, uh. <laughs> Tiene hambre? Tengo, sí. tengo mucho hambre. Yo tengo mucho hambre también. That's oh, wow. Ah, uh, yay. All right, okay. she said she's hungry, guys. So we're gonna make something really delicious. Thank you, so, Seth. 
Hey, and she's thirsty. Kelly, you're killing it today. Tango, tango sueño. <laughs> so today we are gonna be making a Tex-Mex breakfast brunch casserole. It's great for grab and go, but also here in Texas we do everything big. Even our brunches are really big True. and hearty. So I thought about what if we take our own spin on like the, you know, the street taco, you this know, is potatoes. By the way. It's really good, right? It's really good. But put all that into a casserole. So the first thing we're gonna do today is start out with our leaves. So I'm gonna give you this towel. What I want you to do is we've gotta remove all of these spikes. See, that's where you lose me, right I there know. in the it's kitchen. <laughs> I like it pre-chopped at the grocery store. Seriously. You can buy it pre-chopped, but okay. this is a Fitman cook kitchen. We're gonna put <laughs> Kelly to work today. We got, uh, you got to cook. <clears throat> Very carefully, you know, like use one hand like this, and I want you to scrape the oh, spikes like, off, or you can do it this way. This is what my mama used to do when she burned our toast. You could hear her in there scraping. Oh, scraping this toast? <laughs> is that what I do? Yeah, but you gotta do a little bit more. You may wanna do it the opposite way too, if it's not working. Do we and have insurance see, if I cut myself? Ooh, that's why, that's why we don't have a challenge, because insurance here, it's not that great. <laughs> I can sue you and then we can split no. it. <laughs> <laughs> How much are we gonna get? Because maybe we can, maybe we can. This will be my last video. Right. My next video is gonna be me up in the Maldives. Up in, that's What's right. up? <laughs> Live from Monaco, it's Kevin and Kelly. Chop off the ends. I want you to just take it and just do the sides and just chop off this okay. part because those have some spikes on them, but they're a little bit harder to remove. But if you can't find this, guys, then just get a green bell pepper. So now I want you to just cut this into slices and then we're gonna dice this up. All right, so now we're gonna fire up the skillet and what we're gonna do is basically sear this because we're gonna take out some of that sliminess and some of that bite. So what is the one misconception about cheerleading that people really don't know that you would like to clear up? Probably people um, see them as dancers or maybe even entertainers, but some Times you know, I, you, you'd hear the word dinghy or this or that, and mm -hmm. they have degrees from 34 different universities. Nice. While we're here right now, I have um, cheerleaders that are school teachers yeah. at school right now. I have nurses. We have a cardiac nurse. They're just super, yeah. they're really smart. Yeah. Really high achieving women. I didn't know. I thought this was just your job right here. And they're like, no, this is something that we just love to do. Right. And so I'm like, how do, how do you juggle your actual career plus this passion for dancing and being like on the road and, and, and then just being at a game? I didn't know that they, they're on their feet the entire time. We talked about that. The with, entire time yeah, they're on they, their feet. They're not on a bench. <laughs> No. They don't have an offense or a defense for the entire mm -hmm. game. They're dancing, and in a game, we have at least 150, sometimes 200 musical elements played, Holy smoke. and they're yeah. dancing every, every time. So I want you to lightly spray this. Perfect. All right, then I want you to add in the cactus. <laughs> What's our temperature on that skillet? It's, uh, it's on sears. So this is a high heat. So. Oh, it says, there's actually a word. Because yeah, everybody sear. tells me to sear stuff, and I'm like, I don't know. Put what it on high heat when it wants to sear. Put it on super high heat. And I want you to add a pinch of salt in there as it um, cooks. Okay. So we want this to cool down some. And I want you to pick up the skillet if it's not if it's not hot for you, just to let it cool down some. And keep stirring it. We're letting the skillet cool down some. Oh, can we talk about Jesse? Can you get the bling? The bling. Ooh. Oh yeah. Do you see that? <laughs> oh my God. That's the Super Bowl ring. What do yep. you have to do to get that? We have to you win. You have to win. That was. Uh, <laughs> 92, 9895, <laughs> mm -hmm. Super Bowl. Uh, let's see, so we got this in Tempe, Arizona. Oh, wow. All right, now I want you to add in some onion and then continue stirring it. Good, good, good. All right, we're going to add in some of the chorizo. Yes. There we go. All of it, that's bit. That's yeah. a lot. And this is already fully cooked chorizo, so the only thing we're doing here is just warming it up. We're going to turn off the heat. Now we're going to begin to build our casserole. All right, so for the base of our casserole, I thought that we would have some hash browns. I was say, that looks like hash browns. Yeah, you can buy those frozen, you can get them fresh. So you Stump can do like half, about it, half of that. Sprinkle on just a little bit of cheese right here. And then what the cheese is gonna help to do is, it helps to bind it together. All right, Got perfect. It. Now I want you to add in your chorizo and cactus mix. All right, and I want you just to spread these out. Okay, see, I'm all about presentation. That, that edge is there gonna we bother go. me. That edge that, is gonna bother me, so we're gonna have good. to- Spread it out, make it even. Sprinkle in just a little bit of cumin, just lightly. Some of those. It's all right. It's all right. It's, hey, this is ours, so you can just take your 
take the spatula <laughs> and just fold it over there on top. It's all good. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. That little corn is gonna, have a, it's gonna a, be a little hella thing. spicy. <laughs> oh, all right, now let's add in some bell peppers. We have here some eggs and some egg whites and some kefir. So we're going to pour in the rest of the egg whites in there. Our egg mix. Oh, I'm sorry, add, add in our um, the milk. And what is this skim whole? This is, no, no, here, 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 put it here. Sorry, I should have said something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. This um, is the test for me. <laughs> see, you have to pay okay. attention. I'm gonna whisk everything together. When did you start cooking? A, I started cooking back in 2012. I was just trying to lose some weight. That's Actually, right. maybe before okay. that. But did you cook yeah. in your mama's kitchen? No, So no, you're no, like no. me, I really wasn't yeah. in the kitchen. I was just desperate trying to lose some weight. I want you to sprinkle half of that cheese on top right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I'll just pour in the eggs. And just put it all, yeah. Sprinkle on more cheese. So eventually we're using all the cheese, Kevin? Yeah, yeah, yeah the rest of it. All of it? Yes. Here we go, okay. Evenly. Doesn't look bad. I want you to cover this up. How many up. ounces or whatever, what size is this? I think this is about, oh my goodness. It's not like a. God, this is an eight by, um, eight by three. Eight. I believe. Eight by five, eight by. Eight by five, you think it's eight by five? I'm not gonna argue with a man about inches, but. That, that looks more than three inches. I'm sorry. Oops. Hashtag I'm Kelly. Are we getting? <laughs> okay, that's why she's the favorite. That's why she's our favorite. All right, I want you to put this into okay, the now. oven. Um, so we're gonna cook this for about 30 minutes or so until minutes the egg is cooked through. Three, at 400. At 400. At 400, okay. and then we're going to take off the foil at the final five minutes so that way the top can kind of brown. So we've got our breakfast casserole, but we also need a fruit salad, okay. a brunch. All right, so I want you to add all these ingredients to this bowl. All right, so now let's make our cocktail sauce. So what I want you to do is I want you to take this and I want you to uh, basically squeeze these oranges. So you know how to do that? I know so, how to squeeze, but okay, I don't know what... Okay, so when you squeeze it like this, you're going to jab this into the heart of it and then twist and turn and all of a sudden, all that juice comes right out. And it's okay if there's pulp in there too. Yeah, and then squeeze it at the same time. I'm gonna need a wardrobe yeah. change. Yeah. Okay, got There it. you go. See? Isn't that easy? Yeah. Look at all that juice is coming out yeah. too. Okay. Perfect. Now I want you to pour in the agave. You're doing so well. Yeah, see, no, 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 no. Ah! Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right here, two hours <laughs> to this. I got to be really specific with my instructions. Yeah, I thought I'd... I I thought know. I'm sorry. <laughs> she scared me. I was like, oh no, what did I do? <laughs> now we're going to... This is our mm -hmm. content. Now I'm going to pay attention now. I'm yeah. talking. That's that multitasking she's I know, talking about. I know, my shih tzu's getting the See, bath out back. You understand why we didn't blindfold her or do anything <laughs> else? All right, then I want you to tear off some of the leaves. Um, all right, so I want you to make this into like a little bit of a ball and then I want you to chop this up. Just sprinkle in some of the, um, of the mint. Yeah. And okay. then I want you to pour into just a little bit of it, like half of it maybe. Pour all this and then we're gonna mix everything together. Perfect. Now fold it. Yeah. And fold from the bottom so that way you get all this stuff, yeah. Because the juice is gonna go towards the bottom so we just wanna fold all the ingredients together. Just, can I just use my hand? Yeah, absolutely. Now. Yeah, Let's absolutely, this. yeah, my yeah, hands are yeah. Clean. All right, so that sauce too. And the sauce oh. is agave and or fresh. It's freshly squeezed, squeezed OJ. OJ. Okay, now the presentation, oh, the most important Kevin. thing. Hey, what are we oh, doing? Oh, thank goodness. I thought you were gonna, you're gonna make me cut, cut that. Those <laughs> <laughs> no, not after what we just saw. We're not, <laughs> you've been doing so well though. Actually, I'm not gonna say that. You've been doing amazingly well. That's a great <laughs> idea. So those are going to be our bowls. Yeah. Look at you with your brunch. Kelly's brunch. Hey. <laughs> Served here. This is uh, very I don't know, but this is clever. great for the... Now you want me to teach you a trick? Yes. In case you're out on a date mm -hmm. or whatever. You're having dinner and you're like, uh -huh. I love these knives. Is that what you do? Is that what women this do? This is a mirror. Have you ever done that? Have you ever done that, Jesse? <laughs> <laughs> Has your wife done That's that? Now I gotta think about it. Like, she's like she, she really? This knife this is, knife is amazing. amazing. There's mint on our teeth. 
I want to know how many of y'all have ever done that in the comments. Oh, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even do it without laughing. Mmm. <laughs> can't wait to Next. dig into this steak. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna... Why is he looking at the knife like that? <laughs> so Kelly, you are really, really humble about this, but you've turned DCC the cheerleading into a big business. Like before you came along, it was just, oh, we're gonna, you know, I'm gonna be at the games. You've mm -hmm. turned it into a business now mm -hmm. where you're doing just stuff beyond like football games. How did you know that you were gonna, did you see that before you started doing this or was it something that just like, like came to you as you were dancing? Um, no, it was a little bit of both. Actually, when I got, I cheered for five years and then when I got hired, my, I was told, do your job and anything else that comes along. Mm -hmm. And the cheerleaders at the time, they weren't intended to be a profit center, but right. they were a cost center. They were, we were losing money because the cheerleaders were designed to do community relations and just dance at the sidelines. Mm -hmm. um, my challenge, my first year in my role was to take us out of the red. They're losing money. Make that department at least pay for itself. I moved it for, I'm not, I wouldn't say numbers, but we went from operating a loss my first season to the next year was a small loss, and then we started making profit. Wow. But my degree's in marketing, and then my passion's in the people, so I didn't, I didn't want to sell out, so I took the things that I knew the cheerleaders were good at that we could you know, expand our footprint, like camps. Mm. A lot of our cheerleaders are dance teachers, so we, I started camps for, for kids, dance and cheer camps. Um, they're all models, they're beautiful, and we weren't doing promotional paid appearances, and yeah. we do that now for corporations, and uh, I mean, we do this all over the, the country. The calendar now. spreads are just amazing. The calendar, oh we, had, we had a cal one single calendar that was being printed locally and not distributed nationally, and the now with our television show, that has, that has a, a little bit of revenue associated with it too, so I'm very fulfilled because I get to be creative and I have a platform where I can kind of try mm -hmm. anything. We've tried different businesses. We've, some of my ideas have worked and some haven't. Like I wanted a Barbie doll for the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. I was just hell-bent that there should be a Barbie and mm -hmm. started this letter campaign. And my first letter was in the 90s and we finally got a Barbie deal in 2007. And there's a, there's a oh long story gosh. with it. Um, but Jeez. so I've been very fulfilled that way. And with that, I think that you're, ooh, I think your brunch casserole is finished. Okay, this smells incredible. Here we go, a little taste test. And put some fresh guac there on top. Exaggerate the Tex-Mex. What do you think? It's awesome. This is your handiwork. Okay, so let me ask you a question because mm -hmm. we started this with a grab and go. Could you not put these, make them in a muffin tin? Correct. You could? You put these in a muffin tin, make some muffins the same way, put all the different ingredients in there. And just and grab them and go. That there you now you were talking. You can cut these different pieces like this as well. You definitely killed it. Excuse me one minute. This spoon. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this this spoon Isn't it great? is amazing. I know, it's, it's very it's interesting. It's round. Interesting. <laughs> Intr <laughs> <laughs> I learned something new today. Now, I want to make sure that we don't have any more explosions in your kitchen with stuff. So, my oh, friends over at no Instapot way! I've heard Instapot, 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 Instapot. Oh my Instapot. gosh, this is the best thing. It's going to change your life. So here's the best thing about this one. You can put the eggs in there in a little basket and then walk away because it has an auto timer. The walk away set. factor is important. Right. For you, And that's why I thought about you. I was like, well, this is good because she can just put this in there and walk away. She can go and do her devotional and not come back to <laughs> hell in her kitchen after she spends time with God. Can I do red beans and rice in here? Absolutely. You have with, to. With like... Yeah. Fresh dry beans, not Correct. a that's can. Not, that's, that's the way you should be that, doing it. Okay, that's going to be my first thing. Yeah. Do you have a red beans and rice recipe? No, if but you're going to give me a butt. toy, then I know you've got to... I got to... <laughs> <laughs> Now she's calling me out, and I have to do a, a in this. red beans and rice in the Instant Pot. There I we go. All right. Fitmencook.com. It's easy Good. to find. You can also get these <laughs> spices on Amazon. I've oh, already done that. A, it's a forever plug. Get you a friend like Kelly. You didn't tell me a joke. Oh, oh! What was the one I had yesterday? What did the buffalo say to his child when he went off to college? <laughs> um, buffaloes, college kids, buffalo, bison, bison! Oh my god! Oh, How, did you, yes. guess? <laughs> How did you guess that? Oh. Yeah, I swear to you, you saw it. Process. We're, we're going to Vegas. Oh, she can't we're going come to Vegas. Vegas. <laughs> we're going to Vegas. Keep it real. Keep it. Oh my God. Forget 
the cooking. We're going into comedy. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, You're the first person. Yeah. That, that was that was so textbook, man. No, oh, Jesse, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> When she broke that down like she that. Full blown savant. Okay. Did, yeah, I pieced it together. Kids, son, bye, son. Oh my gosh! Thank y'all. Peace.